Yeah, I know you wanted to ask me about like um, system D and stuff, and like there's yep. some other stuff like and app images. I wanted to ask about in yeah. app images and system D because I see a lot of hate on system D, and I'm like, but man, that's what I do. <laughs> that's what I use on my Debian servers. If I want to yeah. stop a service, if I want to stop uh, start yeah. it, or if I want to enable a service, disable service, it's like okay, it's useful for me on servers, but. What's the beef? Let's start with system D. What's going on there? So Why do people hate with it? System, <laughs> it was, well, first of all, it's a trend, it's trendy to hate system D, right? It's like a very trendy thing. You, you know, you, you say, I, I don't like system D. And then that begs that, that immediately has the other person saying, what do you mean? What is system D? What do you mean? You don't, is there an alternative? What are you talking about? And it's like for you and me and 99% of people, I mean, everyone is on system D, right? Everyone is. And there's alternatives and I like alternatives. I like run it. I like open RC, but, um, I really would say if anybody ever tells you that system D is, they don't like it, I think you should just ask them, hey, like, wh what do you not like about it? Mm -hmm. And eventually you'll start to see that these people that say that, just they don't beat it. It's sort of like the Debian is stable conspiracy. They just don't know why they say it. They just say it. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But but um, I think a lot of people say it's a monolith and like it does too much and it doesn't follow the Unix philosophy. I don't care about the Unix philosophy, you know what I, uh, philosophy, you know what I mean? Like I care about free and open, so uh, free and open source software. So if it's if, if system D or run it or whatever, like if they're free and open source, I'm just going to use it. Mm -hmm. And if it works, it works, you know, and system D is fine. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's fun to experiment with other init systems like, you know, run it or open RC just to kind of learn about it. And for me, I've done that, of course. And I made a video on, I think, uh, open RC with Artix and kind of cool. But, you know, at the end of the day, system D is on like 99% of computers. And if you don't know system D, like you're not going to get a job because yeah. you're not going to be able to run system DTL, restart, Apache yeah. 2 or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you're going <laughs> to use it on every freaking company that you go. There is no way around that. So yeah. for someone that doesn't know what system D is, would you mind just a 10 second introduction? What is it? Yeah, it's just, it's like an init system that runs on your computer, which manages all your like services. So for example, when you have a network manager, uh, which is basically how you can turn on your network, like just when your computer turns on, you can just system D, system CTL, enable network manager. You can just do that once. And then every time you turn your computer on, network manager starts starts up with your computer, right? So it's like just a convenient thing that allows you to kind of manage your services. And everyone needs an init system because everyone needs services. So system D is just the one that's been the most popular and the most used init system pretty much for the last 30 years. So it's just okay. adopted. So approved then system D, hundred percent or not approved, one hundred percent approved. Oh, free and open source approved. Okay, what about app images? Because I think I'm not quite sure, but I think that I installed Neovim 